Hi to everyone, I'm JotaroKujo79 and in this video I'm gonna show you the second part of my PS Vita game collection. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I upload videos that will help you with your collection every single week. Let me know in the comments which PS Vita game are you currently playing. But let's start! The first one is MotoGP 14, a racing game, the official video game of the MotoGP, that has been developed and published in 2014 by Milestone. I received positive reviews, finding a good balance between simulation and arcade. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the MotoGP and so this game cannot be missing in my collection. I paid it 9 euros from a private and uh, if you check the price on Amazon it's extremely expensive, going from 30 pounds to 50 dollars. MXGP, the official motocross video game. This is another racing game developed by Milestone and is based on the Motocross World Championship. The game has been released also for the PS3, uh, PS4 and Xbox 360. Received mixed reviews, scoring 66 on Metacritic. Uh, I paid it 8 euros and it costs around 20 pounds or dollars on Amazon. Operation Abyss, New York Legacy. It's a dungeon crawler RPG developed by Experience Inc. and published in 2014 by NIS America. It was released originally as a PS Vita exclusive and later on available on PC and compatible with the PS TV. Received mixed reviews, scoring 66 on Metacritic. Uh, price range is between $20 um, and £30. I was lucky to find it, uh, this copy for €10. Euros. The next one is a PS Vita exclusive and is Ragnarok Odyssey, an RPG game based on the MMORPG Ragnarok Online, developed by Game Arts and published in 2012 by Xseed Games. It has been released also an update version named Ragnarok Odyssey Ace for the PS3 and the PS Vita. Received mixed reviews, scoring uh, 66 on Metacritic. Uh, the game is very similar to Monster Hunter. Uh, I paid it 10 euros from uh, this North American version. Uh, this one costs 20 euros or pounds on Amazon. Rayman Origins. It's a 2D side-scrolling platforming adventure game developed and published by Ubisoft in 2011 and later released also for the Vita. The game has been critically acclaimed, scoring 88 on Metacritic. Uh, this is a fantastic platform and uh, I can only recommend you to buy it. Uh, it costs around 10 euros or dollars. The next game is an exclusive launch title for the Vita and is Reality Fighters. Uh, an augmented reality fighting game developed by Novorama and published by Sony. Um, in this game you can capture yourself using the camera, become a video game character and combat against uh, fighters around the world. Uh, received mixed reviews, scoring 54 on Metacritic. Uh, this is a cheap one, I paid it only 3 euros. The next one is another Vita exclusive and is Resistance Burning Skies a first-person shooter developed by Nihilist Software and published by Sony in 2012. Uh, the game set in the Resistant Universe where you have to fight against the Chimera Invasion. Uh, received mixed reviews, scoring 60 on Metacritic. Uh, I have all three Resistance games uh, for the PS3 but I haven't played them yet. Uh, the game was included in the bundle when I bought the Vita and now costs around 15 pounds or dollars on Amazon. Tear Away. It's a platform adventure video game developed by Media Molecule and published by Sony in 2013. The game has been also ported in 2015 uh, on the PS4 with the title of Tear Away Unfolded. Uh, received positive reviews, scoring 87 on Metacritic, and this is, in my opinion, an absolute gem for this console. Uh, the most beautiful thing about this game is how they imagined and managed to create a, vib a vibrant, uh, papery world. The Amazing Spider-Man. 
It's an action-adventure game developed by Binox and published by Activision in 2012. It's based on the Marvel Comics character Spider-Man and is a, a spin-off of the movie released the same year. Uh, received mixed reviews, scoring 55 on Metacritic. The game has an open-world structure with a free-flow combat system very similar to the Batman game series. Uh, I bought it for 11 euros from a private and on Amazon costs around uh, 30 pounds or dollars. Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters is a visual novel uh, with strategy RPG elements developed by Tokyo Inc. and published in Europe in 2015 by NIS America. The game scored a total of 63 on Metacritic. Um, I haven't played it yet, uh, but I normally like to play visual novels on the Vita. Uh, bought it from a private for 10 euros and it costs around 15 pounds or dollars. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It's a 2D fighting game developed and published by Capcom in 2012. It received favorable reviews, scoring 80 on Metacritic. The game features characters from both Marvel and Capcom franchises. Uh, this is actually an updated version of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Fate of Two Worlds, with the addition of new modes and playable characters. Uh, this game is still pricey, costing around $30 or £40, and I was lucky to find it from a private for €12. Euros. The next one is a video exclusive and is Uncharted Golden Abyss. It's an action-adventure game, uh, not developed by Naughty Dog, but uh, by Ben Studio. And this is the fourth interaction in the Uncharted franchise with a story that takes place before the events of Drake's Fortune. Uh, it received positive reviews, scoring 80 on Metacritic. I'm playing it right now and I'm loving the game. Uh, it's really a well done attempt to bring the Uncharted feeling on handheld console. Uh, the only issue I'm having with the game uh, so far are the controls with nothing that uh, sometimes gets stuck in the environment. Um, you can easily find this game under $20 or pounds. Rally Championship 3. It's a racing game developed and published by Milestone in 2012. This is the official game of the 2012 uh, World Rally Championship season with all drivers and tracks. Um, the game received mixed reviews, scoring an average of 60 on all platforms. Uh, this one is surprisingly uh, expensive, costing over £30 and $50 on Amazon. Again, uh, I was lucky to find this copy from a private marketplace for €10. Euros. The next one is without a doubt the rarest game in my Vita collection and it's the Silver Anniversary Edition of Is Memories of Selseta. It's an action RPG developed by Nihon Falcom and published in 2013 by Xseed Games. Uh, the game received positive reviews, scoring 82 on Metacritic. Uh, what makes this edition so rare is the fact that it's been released in North America only. Uh, this edition goes for $90 on Amazon.com and $150 on Amazon.de. Uh, I paid it in only uh, 25 euros from a private guy who was selling his entire collection. Uh, now for time reasons, I'll show you what is inside of this edition in a separate video. God of War Collection. This is a remastered port for the PS Vita of God of War and God of War 2, originally released for the PS2. Uh, the collection received positive reviews, scoring 73 on Metacritic. I recently played God of War Ghost of Sparta on my Vita and I can't wait to play these two classics games. Um, I paid 10 euros and the price on Amazon is between 20 pounds and 30 dollars. And the last one is Tokiden Age of the Demons. It's an action RPG developed by Omega Force and published in 2014 by Tecmo Koei. Recently has been released a sequel, Tokiden 2. Uh, the game received positive reviews, scoring 71 on Metacritic. I bought it uh, for 10 euros and you can easily find it uh, for 15 pounds or dollars on Amazon. So this was it for today. If you liked the video, clicking the like button is not a bad idea. And if you want to see more of these episodes, subscribing is the best way to stay tuned on my channel. Watch also my previous videos if you missed them and see you in the next episode.